As part of our assignment, we're going to be talking about architectural styles. This is house number one. What kind of house is that? House number one. What style is that? And as I continue on my walk, we will look at some other houses. Alright, so anyway, as I was saying, what style of house is that? This is house number two. House number two. What style is that? Ah, here's an extra trivia question for you. What style of roof is that? What style of roof is that? You can type me a comment and tell me what style of roof that house is. Okay. This is the next house, house number three. What style of house is that? And if you really are clever, what's the name of those items that are sticking out of the roof? Like that? What are they called? They have a name. What are they? I'm going to take a quick break. Hi, Mrs. G. Now, notice, if you look at some of the people's uh, hardscape, you can see some of the landscaping that they did. If you look behind some of these houses, look at the uh, architecture of how they did the sunroom. Notice how the roof is just slightly pitched for that sunroom. All right. Interesting pool. Nice view, as you can see. Uh huh. And all this is right here in Charlie, by the way. You know, I'm not really going somewhere else. But we're gonna keep looking. We gotta look for our next house. And I'm on the other side of this giant pond right here. And I'd like you to take a look. Do you see some of the features of different homes? You can see how each home is slightly different in design. You can see the different roof styles. You can see different roof pitches. All as you look around. See, one thing that we've always talked about in class is do you pay attention to architecture? I hope you are. Let's keep going. Look at that roof style. And that one too. House four, uh, what style is this? Well, we're getting close to the end of our walk here. I hope we had a chance to briefly go through a few house styles and roof designs and a chance to get out and enjoy the nice blue sky. And uh, just know, guys, I'm thinking about you. We'll get through this. I know it's a real pain in the neck. Uh, but try not to get too bored. And listen, if I tell you to do some work, you should do it. I'm going to be grading it. And text your friends that are in class. Let your other you know, classmates know to say, hey, you know, Mr. G's putting some work up. Do it. Because I promise I'll keep the work really uh, low key and not too hard. All right. Yeah, look at this colonial. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Mrs. G. <clears throat> All right, then. We'll see you later. Take care. I miss you.